Hello there and welcome to Bajao.com's YouTube channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of Vault Studio products. And let's start with the AI22. And like any studio audio interface, it is the heart of any recording setup. The Vault AI22 is a two-channel, two-in, two-out audio interface. It has two combo connectors, which means that you can use both line-in or instrument cable inputs as well as a microphone input or an XLR cable. You get two high Z buttons, one for each channel, for instruments or an electronic keyboard perhaps that provide lower impotence outputs. You also get two individual or dedicated gain knobs to control the gain level for both your microphone as well as your instrument inputs. The phantom power button, which will power your condenser microphones, enabling you to get those crisp and crystal clear recordings that you do get from a condenser microphone that uses 48 volt or phantom power. You have two peak LEDs that will glow in red, letting you know that your input signal is just way too hot to handle and will result in clipping, which can be fixed by adjusting the channel input gain level. Depending on whether you're recording, monitoring, mixing or just listening to music, you can pick between the mix out or the direct out to hear exactly what you would want to. Up next is a large and rather comfortable volume control dial, which is nice to have when you're trying to listen to many different types of things from the same kind of setup. If you prefer to listen to yourself or monitor while recording using headphones, the AI22 has a dedicated headphone out as well as a headphone volume control so that you could record quieter without disturbing anyone. Let's flip it over and look at the back panel real quick. Let's start with the USB board. This is where your cable, which will come out of your system, computer or laptop and will power the AI22. You can see the Kensington lock right here and your outputs, which are left-right line outputs, which go to your left and right monitor speakers and you're good to go. Alternately, you could also use these outputs to plug into a monitor controller if you are using one. We'll be checking out the Vault Control 1 passive monitor controller and show you how that's done as well. But once again, these outputs from the AI22 can go straight to your left and right monitors and your recording and monitoring setup is good to go. And now that we've seen the AI22 from the outside, let's wait no more and plug it right in. First off, you get the USB cable needed to power and plug the AI22 with your system in the box itself. With one end going into the AI22 here and the other end going obviously into your system like so. You will see a pop-up of the AI22 drivers being recognized by your system and being automatically installed to the same. Once the AI22 is powered and the drivers are installed to your system, you will see a red light glowing on the interface itself telling you that your audio interface is powered and ready for use. Another great device to add to your home recording arsenal is a monitor controller. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Vault Control 1 Passive Monitor Controller. At first glance, the Control 1 definitely looks simple to use. It's built like a tank, looks great and perfect for you to use right on your studio desk. On the back, you'll find the inputs and the outputs. For inputs, you'll find combo connectors, which means that you can use both line as well as XLR cables to connect the Control 1 with your audio interface. The monitor controller also has a 3.5mm jack input or an aux input for a phone or a laptop. For outputs, there are dedicated XLR left and right outputs that would go into the inputs at the back of your monitor speakers. Now let's just see what all can this monitor controller do. First off, the mono button. Engaging this actually sums the left and right channels and sends the sum equally through both speakers. Pretty handy if you wish to monitor things in mono. The mute button, as the word says, will mute all outputs from the monitors. This is definitely super handy when you're trying to do overdubs. The large dial allows you to make really high precision adjustments to the volume, making it really easy to dial in that perfect level every time without having to touch the volume of your audio interface or making any changes to the volume in your door. Once you've set your volume on the monitor controller, once again you can just use the mute button to switch between the monitors being on and off, depending on whether you're dubbing using headphones, monitoring or mixing. As we've seen earlier, our AI22, our audio interface for the day, is all plugged in and powered. So now all we're going to do is connect our mono left and right speakers using the left and right outputs from the AI22. Once again, these outputs can go straight into the inputs at the back of your monitors, but for today's purposes, we're going to be plugging these outputs into the inputs of the Vault Control 1. 
To use the wall control one passive monitor controller, we're going to be using a total of four cables. Starting off with two line cables or jack cables that will go into our line inputs of the monitor controller coming out of the outputs from the AI22. And the XLR cables that will go into the output of the control one like so. So let's plug all of them in. And that's your left and right mono inputs. And your XLRs that would be going out to your monitors plug into the outputs of the monitor controller. And just like that, your monitor controller is all hooked up and ready to go. So now with all of our cables plugged in, let's take a good look at the complete setup that we're running right now and how they're all connected to each other. So to start with, we have our laptop or our computer, which is plugged into the AI22, which is our audio interface for the day. The two outputs of the AI22 are plugged into the inputs of the Vault Control 1 using the jack cables that you see here. And the outputs of the Vault Monitor Controller are going out into our Vault C6 powered studio monitors. So let's just place this guy right here within arm's reach. Uh, you could choose to have cables running really long but uh, I would prefer to have this right here so that I can quickly move between muting and unmuting especially while doing overdubs. It comes really handy so that's where it's gonna stay. We've got all of our wall gear set up. Uh, what we're gonna do is try and record a song, play a little bit of a guitar part, uh, jam with a click track, and uh, do a couple of overdubs, and see how the vault monitor controller and the AI22 uh, help in making this whole process a little bit more efficient. The voice that you're hearing right now is, uh, is coming out of the vault VCM microphone, which is at a distance away from me right now, but uh, it's phantom powered, it's a condenser microphone being powered by the vault AI22 and uh, it's, it's great for having these kind of videos when you're having a conversation with, uh, with something that you're being recorded or you're talking about a particular product or whatever it is that you're making your videos about. Uh, also, the mute function is on right now on the Vault monitor controller, which is uh, enabling me to be able to talk freely right now. If I had headphones on right now, or if I wanted to hear myself back, I would be able to do that without having to move around with the, vol with the volume, which you see at this point over here is full on the AI-22. Uh, even the monitor monitors themselves, they are currently on max volume. Uh, it's just the way I like them. Uh, you could choose to have them at different levels. Now what we're going to do is just play a click track. And uh, I'm going to unmute the monitor controller and mute the microphone. Because I don't want that loop to happen. So all I'm going to have to do is uh, stop this recording of this audio right now, of the microphone. Uh, which I can just do through uh, disarming this track itself. I'll kill the phantom power from the from the Vault AI22 and unmute the control monitor. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll just be able to play a click track and jam out with the electric guitar and have all of that recorded. So let's do that. did uh, was unmute the control monitor in the previous part so that we could hear uh, the click track loud and clear and just be able to freely jam with an electric guitar and uh, right now when we've got the condenser microphone on again uh, the studio monitors have been muted uh, via the control one and uh, yeah now I've heard something that I really want to sing too so what we're gonna do is use our headphones we've got the vault uh, studio headphones here too and uh, just Pull in our microphone a little bit closer. Again, the Vault Monitor Controller is allowing us to keep our monitors off right now so we don't really have to change much of our levels when it comes to monitoring. What we can do is cut down a little bit again because the mic's far closer to me right now. Uh, adjust it just a little bit for me to hear and sing better. And yeah, we could go for a take. Like the smell of rain fresh on the ground Then it's solitude again Feel the trace near me, it's in the air Then I tell myself she never leave me 
and go back to now monitoring on full monitors. Like the smell of rain fresh on the ground Then it's solitude again Feel the trace near me, it's in the air Then I tell myself you never need me All of the Wall Studio products come with an industry-leading and an amazing 3-year standard warranty. And placing your order with Bajao gives you access to its massive product catalog, free tech support, and trained technicians and sales engineers who are willing to help you in any way that they can. Welcome to Bajao. Now go play.